Okay, so I got some messages from people wondering how I would answer the question that my daughter, six-year-old daughter asked about um, why would Jesus, I mean, why would God put the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the garden if he didn't want them to eat it? Um, I'm not sure if this response will make someone change their doubt, but it has gone over well with some of my high schoolers and older students. And one of the things I say, first of all, is that God did not create us to be robots and that he put a free will in all of us. And then he gives us choices so that we have this sense of being able to choose the path we take in life. Um, and then I also say that um, God is not interested in us being forced to be in relationship with him. He wants us to choose relationship with him. So all of life is about choices. So he put that tree in the garden, as well as all the other trees. There were lots of other trees in the garden um, as a way for us to have this opportunity to choose what path. Now, the beautiful thing about Adam and Eve is it wasn't the end. Just because they chose that fruit, God didn't kill them right then. As a matter of fact, they had an opportunity to choose life again, to choose the right path. They became the parents of Seth, who became eventually the great, 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 great grandfather of Jesus. Um, and we see a, a sign that God's grace came into play. So one thing I also love about, at the same time God gives us choices, choices, he also gives us grace. Because when we have times in our life where we may choose that thing that takes us away from him, he's always waiting there for us with his grace um, to catch us. So that um, is my response, is that everything God has created, everything we have in life, was for us to be able to live out our free will, to live out our freedom of choice. And, but then at the same time, just like when Adam and Eve sinned, he was right there. He made the clothes for them. He protected them from the garden. Like people think they stop at the part where it says he kicked them out the garden, but they don't, they don't look at why and what he was doing. And he even explains it. He took them out of the garden set a guard over the tree of life so they would not live forever in sin. He knew that sin was going to eventually just take this world down and he doesn't want us to be stuck living in a state of sin for eternity. And he immediately set to work with putting his plan for the Messiah in place. So we make our choices. We may get off track. We may have these detours we take because we have a free will and we can choose to do what we want. But God is always waiting right there for his grace to catch us when, we, um, when we're ready to come back into relationship with him. So I hope that helps.